Adam Scott Party, um, originally from Zimbabwe, now residing in the in the United Kingdom. Um, my background is varied. I spent 18 years in the uh, British Army as a uh, combat medical technician. I was uh, qualified as a uh, paramedic during my time. I left to um, go into the hostile um, medical world um, and uh, working in the uh, oil and gas industry. Due to the um, drop in price of the oil, uh, barrels of oil, um, I wanted to make myself a bit more employable. So um, I decided whilst I was on leave to um, look in and doing the uh, SIA approved close protection course. And because of the, the time limits upon myself, um, searched through the internet and I found that Phoenix Ticked all, ticked all my boxes. I was able to get a course during my leave. The uh, price was within my budget, and um, the service um, that, that I got on my initial um, inquiries was was absolutely um, tip top. My first impressions of uh, Phoenix was very professional. Um, when we um, all the uh, emails prior to coming on the course. Um, they were succinct, uh, to the point, we knew what we needed, um, we knew where we had to be. Uh, Phoenix had also organised a discount and, uh, for our accommodation within the hotel, which has made life so much easier, you know, not having to commute backwards and forwards or trying to arrange your own accommodation. Um, then on the day, on, on registration day, they had a reception desk where we uh, checked in and we... Um, we're able to register all our details, we're all done professionally in a um, professional manner, friendly, relaxed um, atmosphere. Whilst on the Phoenix course, um, as part of the criteria, we um, did a day, a shooting day, uh, on an indoor range where we went through a um, ref refresher. Um, and familiarization um, period where we were um, looking at the um, 5.56 rifles and obviously the 9mm uh, pistols. Um, for some of us, ex-military, that's, that's not a problem for us because we've handled weapons so we, we, we really pretty much know how to make a weapon safe. Um, and I think that's, that was the biggest uh, point of the day, was not necessarily to teach us to carry weapons or use them, it was actually if we come across a weapon, was to actually be confident to make that weapon safe for um, forensics or police to um, remove that firearm. It wasn't going to cause any more um, problems to ourselves. On the actual range day itself, um, it was uh, pretty much um, to become used to what a firearm does the noises what it feels like what it smells like um, and even though there was a, a serious note to it there was also a relaxed um, fun um, theme to it as well but still you know safety was uh, of paramount importance on the day whilst on the, the Phoenix course um, we had a, a practical car day where um, we were taught how to drive um, in convoy, how to drive with the principal, um, and you know how to get ourselves out of trouble should a threat or something, an incident happen whilst whilst driving. So um, you know how to handle a car if if, if we were to skid with wet or icy road conditions. Um, Maneuvering as part of a, a group, so if you're in a car and a vehicle uh, of convoy, a convoy vehicle, should the need uh, arise, we're able to get out of it as a group safely without causing any damage to vehicles, um, and uh, you know maneuver away from the threat. For me personally, the, the point that was of, of particular interest and where I learned was the actual um, driving as a group and um, having um, the courage and the confidence um, to know that the person on either side of you is um, thinking the same things as you are and um, knowing that you're going to achieve your 
your, your aim of getting out of the, uh, the threat area as quickly and as safely as possible. For me, for the, the, the final exercise, for me that was an opportunity for me to place a cherry on the cake, um, to put into practice all the theory that we'd um, received, all the practical knowledge that we'd, we'd received, and um, an opportunity to demonstrate um, in a practical manner that we can actually um, be given a task and um, follow it through and um, see it through to a successful um, ending. So for us, our task was to um, take our principal into Birmingham for a meal um, and she obviously had a guest with her and um, the, the resources available to us was, was, was fantastic. We had um, Rolls Royce um, and a top of the range uh, Range Rover which um, allowed us to look and feel and act the part um, but obviously because of the, the type of vehicles we were using it meant that the world's eyes or the, 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 the public were, were looking at us so we really had to be on our toes um, but that said, we obviously having the resources that we did have, it made us feel good, made us feel proud, and it made us um, step up and um, work to the best of our abilities. With my particular um, task, it was done at night, so we had um, dark conditions, a lot of lights, a lot of bright lights, and uh, we had paparazzi as well, who were... Um, obviously taking photographs, filming us um, and it was a busy period of time in Birmingham, rush hour, and to be able to manoeuvre through the traffic and get our, um, ensure that our client, principal, arrives at their said destination on time and in one piece was, well, it was critical. And with a lot of um, prior rehearsals and a lot of reconnaissance and a lot of hard, prior hard work, we were able to um, to pull it off, and I think looking back and in hindsight, um, it was a very sleek, um, flowing um, exercise, and um, you know, I think every single one of us on the team felt really chuffed um, that we actually did a good job, and obviously the, the, the feedback from the instructors afterwards was um, was very very good and positive and I think overall having the resources it actually made our final exercise seem real not just a um, a simple walk in the park you know uh, like a make-believe where this was actually real we had a real client we had real cars real hotels silver service which in the, in the in the real world, that's what that's what we would be working with. I think if you sat at home and you contemplating coming into the cloud protection world, or you want to perhaps maybe do something different, something out of the ordinary, um, I would certainly recommend Phoenix. They are professional. They have instructors with years of both royal protection and corporate. Um, knowledge and experience and um, they put it across in in a manner that e even if you've, you know nothing about the cross protection in industry by the end of the course you will actually have a really good sound background and the confidence to be able to be part of a team go out gain the experience um, and I also think as well as the cost the cost is really really affordable it's within a lot of people's budgets with a bit of saving you can do it. I would certainly recommend Phoenix.